I'm going to demonstrate palpation of the trapezius muscle. Um, it's a large muscle, and uh, we often break it down into three areas, uh, uh, and we have the upper trapezius, the middle trapezius, and then the lower trapezius. And it's done that way because the orientation of the fibers cause different actions in those areas. The upper trapezius inserts at the external occipital protuberance, the medial third of the uh, superior nuchal line, and then continues uh, inferiorly along the cervical spine, inserting into the nuchal ligament as far down as C7. Uh, the upper traps then uh, continues laterally to insert into the lateral third of the clavicle. The middle traps uh, in, attaches to the spinous processes of T1 through T5 and moves laterally to insert into the spine of the scapula. And then the lowest part, the inferior traps, attaches to the spinous processes of T6 through T12 and will insert uh, in the medial border of the scapula by the root of the spine of the scapula. So the upper traps will be in this area through here. The middle traps comes just across between the spine and the scapula, and then the lower traps is on this diagonal. So to palpate the upper traps, uh, the movement we're going to demonstrate is a shoulder shrug or elevation. So we're going to locate the spine of the scapula. Just moves slightly superiorly over the uh, uh, upper part of the traps. And with that, this movement is having the client go ahead and move their shoulder to their ear upward. All right, you can apply a little resistance just like this. So that would be shoulder elevation. That would be the upper traps. Then the uh, middle traps is going to go uh, almost on a horizontal line. So if you locate the medial border of the scapula and move slightly medially, the client's going to have their arm uh, abducted at the shoulder 90 degrees and the elbow flex 90 degrees. And with that, they're going to bring their shoulder blades together to the spine. You can apply a little resistance if you want on the scapula. Right, so that would be the movement of adduction of the scapula. And then lastly, what we're going to do is the lower traps. Um, the lower traps um, will do depression in addition to some other movements. Uh, so what we're going to do is we'll have the client abducted at 140 degrees of uh, shoulder abduction. You're going to locate the medial border of the scapula by the root of the spine of the scapula and go on a diagonal uh, towards the uh, thoracic spine. Remember, it's going to insert, the lower traps inserts in the spinous process of T6 through T12. So if you place your fingers on this diagonal, uh, the patient's going to lift their arms up off the table and then squeeze their shoulder blades downward, and that's where you're going to palpate the lower trapezius.